Hi everyone, it's Peter Fregascados, your member of Parliament in London North Centre. I know that Londoners and all Canadians are concerned about COVID-19 and I wanted to take an opportunity to provide some information. Most importantly, we need to stay calm throughout this challenge. This is a time to stay united and I know we will get through this. More than that, it's important to take preventative measures so that we don't overwhelm our healthcare system. Here's some advice from the Public Health Agency of Canada on what we can do. Wash your hands regularly for at least 20 seconds. Cough or sneeze into your elbow. Avoid touching your face. Practice social distancing, which means avoiding crowded places and non-essential gatherings. As possible, shop or take public transit in off-peak hours. Don't shake hands. Increase personal space to two arm lengths, or around two meters. And even if you experience mild symptoms, like fever, dry cough, shortness of breath, stay home. I want you to know that I, as a member of Parliament and the entire Government of Canada, understand full well the impacts that COVID-19 is having and will have on this country. Throughout the process, we will have your back. Here are some measures that we have already taken. The response has included $275 million for research and vaccine development, $500 million to support healthcare systems in the provinces and territories, removing the one week wait period for EI sick benefits for people in quarantine, $10 billion to support small and medium sized businesses experiencing challenges. Beyond government, the Bank of Canada cut its benchmark interest rate to 0.75% to encourage investment and growth. And the Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institutions, Canada's financial regulator, also announced an additional $300 billion in lending capacity for big banks. Obviously, this is a very fluid situation and we will adapt and act as necessary. But I end with the message that I started with at the outset. Let's remain calm, let's stay united, and let's be kind to each other. This is a really difficult time for our city and country. The only way to get through this is to do those things. Finally, thank you to all healthcare professionals for the extraordinary work you are doing during this time, and to first responders as well. If you have questions about COVID-19, listen to the healthcare experts. You can do that by visiting the following websites. Thank you very much.